Hello Internet Dwellers, and welcome back to Bit by Block, the show where we recreate famous movie and television locations within Minecraft for funsies. And for one day creating machinima, I am Jeff Bell here, and we just walked through the front of the motel that we, that's the wrong way, Jeff, over here, there we go, that we created in last, uh, last handful of episodes, we finished off the build. Um, a couple little tweaks and minor adjustments, I might actually build, eventually, uh, Marion's car, or just a car for the front here, that could be kind of fun. Um, and then, like I said, last time, we have to still shift over the road, it's still a little bit too far away from... The front of the building here uh well, we'll probably just shift the motel over but i digress today's episode where am i looking at oh there we go today's episode we are building the house we are going to get right into the house itself now a couple quick little changes i know when we originally designed the or when we first started the build here uh, i kind of laid out where roughly this whole thing is going to go yeah that's all wrong uh <laughs> <laughs> Having now gone back and looked at the uh, just everything, basically, I I I I don't want this. We are going to start over from scratch. This was and this was just kind of a concept, anyways. This was just to get us something out so we could figure out where where I I apparently cannot talk today. Uh, this was just kind of a concept to get the general gist of what we were going to build, anyways. Um, now having built the motel, I realize I want to basically just do this all over again and not be restricted to what we came up with originally so we are going to do exactly that let me just get rid of the rest of this house mock-up right here excellent all right now i can probably also get rid of this green block right here i i really don't remember why we built that that was weird um okay so let me get up my blue right here okay so what we're gonna do is we're going to do a little bit of um a little bit of terraforming on the episode today. Uh, I don't know exactly how much we're going to show on camera. It'll probably be shown on camera. We just might do a time lapse just to make things a little bit easier for everybody watching because uh, the terraforming can get to be a little bit of a pain in the butt, basically, if uh, especially if the way I do it. So um, let's just let's figure this thing out. Let's figure everything out. My best bet is probably we're going to end up building the mountain. Uh, first and then we'll build the staircase up uh, that was one of the reasons why again why I, I destroyed this because actually looking at my photographs um, my original blueprints I was using were not accurate that's not like it, I had this staircase going off over that direction when in reality it basically the staircase starts pretty much where we had it it starts here but then it goes up and then it goes off at this angle and then it goes straight up to the house so I don't know what I was thinking that was way, way off. But, uh, so basically, the the house, or see here, the, 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 the side of the mountain here, and it's a fairly straightforward uh, mountain. It's nothing too complicated. Um, basically, it just is going to end up kind of going over this way. Uh, and I'm not going to do this by hand like this. We're going to use the, we're going to use Forge to fill all this in. And then kind of just have it kind of come out, and then... Probably just right back that way. So that's kind of the edge, quote unquote. And it's nothing too complicated. It's really just a slope up to a higher level that is higher than the roof line. So it's probably going to be like the house, the, the main floor of the house is probably going to be about right here. Maybe a little bit higher, maybe about here. Uh, because obviously in the movie, everything looked up to the house and we want the house to be looking out over top of the motel. So that's about our edge. And then this will, this kind of uh, just goes along here for a little bit. And then it actually wraps back around over like this. And then we'll just kind of, yeah, we'll just fake the rest of this. This A lot of this doesn't really get ever seen on camera uh, in any of the movies or anything like that. So that's kind of just the general gist. So that whole area there is going to be filled in. Now, let me, uh, let's get the, uh, wow, I just completely spaced. Wow, this is a great episode so far. <laughs> uh, so much energy, not an energy whatsoever. A very long day yesterday, so. Um, but let me get the, uh, let me, let's get the tool up here. Let's get the terraforming tool up here, and we will go from here. 
All right, sorry about that weird cut there. Um, had some issues with the tool brush. I had to figure out all the hiccups before we actually continued on with the re-episode. So here we go. We are ready now. All right, what we're going to do in Forge, Forge has, as you can see by all my mess-ups here, uh, Forge has the ability to create a brush tool. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a sphere. Uh, I'm just attaching it to this wep or this weapon, this shovel. I guess if you're Jason Voorhees, it would be a... Weapon. Anyways, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to assign it because what you can do is you can assign a block within Minecraft to be your sphere. So we are going to assign the ID number two, which is grass, because we're just going to make this a grassy mountain. And I want it to be a radius of five. I believe five might be the highest you can go. Let's check here. Can we go up higher than five? Ah, six is the highest you can go. All right, so... That's perfectly fine. Five, eh, well, six, we'll do six. Sure. All right. So what this does, what this now does, words are hard, is it allows us to create a sphere. Now this is a, this should be a solid sphere, correct? Yes, it is a solid sphere um, of that particular texture. Now we're gonna just undo that so I can actually build this the way I want. So what we can do now, the beauty is that does kind of do a long range. So you can see I can put it way out there, which is awesome. So I don't have to be really close. So I can kind of just judge based upon how it looks from a distance, uh, just to kind of see, you know, it's, I, it's better to see this from a long range than be up close to it. Plus, if you're up close to it and you place down a block. Yeah, we are uh, <laughs> we are currently inside the block. Uh oh. Uh oh, there we go. Now we're back. Okay, <laughs> so that's why it's always good to kind of do this from a long distance. Now, let's try this out. So if I plop that there, how high is that? Okay, so that's definitely, height-wise, we're probably going to have to do, yes. So about, about there. So this is the, that's the, the height that we're technically going for total. So we're just going to have to stack these a little bit more. So in the meantime, let's just throw one out there and let's get one there how's that look yes yes about there how's our height that's good okay i move that a little bit too close because we have to have a little bit of more of a slope so this is gonna let's go way back here let's go back to there and there okay so that is our height for the house perfect so then what we can do is then we can kind of just start filling in around this. Uh, and you see, as you can see, it does build a full sphere. If I attack it from there, it does build a full sphere using this, this system. So I just uh, am putting it closer to the ground because the way I like to do this and the way I like to use this tool is kind of building up on top of it to kind of get my general, uh, my heights. So yeah, this is the, <laughs> this is the interesting part. This is a part that I don't, I mean, I guess I don't tend to see a lot of videos focusing on this because it can be very tedious uh, and boring, but this is definitely kind of some. And now I know what you're thinking about, like right now it's like, well, this is all pop marked and, and whatever. There is a, there's another tool, again, for those of you who do not know the, the, uh, forge tool there is another tool in the arsenal that will allow us to smooth all this out which i'm planning on going back once we get our general height for all of this i'm planning on going back and using the smooth tool to fix those uh, potential areas so we will get back to that and then go down we want to make sure that's flat so like i said we're just kind of building the rough concept so yeah, it's good enough. It's close enough. And one there, and then one there, and one there, and like this. Yeah, that's good enough. Like this, and this, and this. This is just so much simpler than, you know, even even with the forge tool. Uh, if we use the if we use this one that we were using to move stuff around, you can select an area and you can fill it in. Oops. You can fill it in with uh, whatever block you want. So we could have technically just made a giant boxy area and filled it in with the grass. And then from there kind of carved out the, the slope on the side of the hill. And you know, there, there's there's other ways we could have gone about doing this. I just like using the, the sphere generation tool. And I know a lot of other people online will uh, kind of agree with this. This just kind of, A, it, it, it allows you to sculpt more it kind of makes you feel <laughs> more like you're actually sculpting this out of like clay and stuff um and it, it just it, it gives you it gives you a little bit more control over it and it gives you a little bit more uh, organic feel so now okay so this is our height so we need to get it up to 
uh, roughly around one of those blocks. So this is where it gets a little trickier because we want to make sure we don't like that. That's actually a little too high. And again, what we could probably do is I probably can come back through here now and then using this one. Once we get the, the general height for everything, we could probably come through and just lop off the top part of this mountain. So maybe, maybe you know what? Maybe we'll do that. That'll just probably be easier. Oh, nope. You are too high. Actually, a little too high for what I want there anyway. So there we go. La -ba -da -ba -da. So how's everybody else doing? Everybody doing good? Everybody doing good here? This is kind of a fun... This was this was right here. This was one of the reasons why I wanted to do the base motel and house for the second build. It was very fun doing the clock tower and doing all those because that was definitely a you know an iconic thing that I always wanted to do and I had attempted to do and I just you know wasn't able to actually finish it the first few times I tried doing it. So that was that was more for me. Um, this build, I knew I was gonna have to terraform like this and I wanted to try doing that. That's why we, I grabbed a nice flat plane. With these flat maps, you don't have any of these hillsides and mountains and stuff that you can kinda, you can kinda build with. Uh, and I, I did that intentionally. I didn't want to necessarily a, a ton of like rocky surfaces or, or, or anything along those lines. I wanted it to be, oops, you are too high. I wanted it to be flat so I could build it however I wanted to. Um, and like I said, I was able to then integrate in mountains if I needed to necessarily. So, okay, there's that, and there's that, and that. Well, we're missing a little bit over here. This is just a little too high. Okay. So let's come back out here. Um, maybe there. And maybe there, and maybe there, there. So that kind of tapers off. All right. So we have our little mountainside over there. Um, yeah, we want to keep this area kind of flat here because this is where the staircase is going to go up. Now we've got to figure out what our height is that we want this to be. Uh, like I said, it looks like the it looks like the flat surface where the house is built is pretty much maybe like a block or two higher than the roof line here, which would mean probably this row, no, you know what, screw it, we'll go one more higher. This row right here is our high row. So these blocks are all completely unnecessary. So this is where we'll take this. Oh, shoot, that's the problem though, is like, I don't actually know. So it's this, this row right through here. This whole top can be cut. So we'll just cut that out like that. So we get a nice flat surface. Um, yeah, some of these are. And yes, I realize it probably wasn't actually fully flat, but you know, whatever, it's Minecraft. So we're going to take, again, those are my creative liberties. Uh, and again, like we saw that it does it does uh, leave some, some gaps still, but that is easier. It's easier to fill in those little gaps than it is to try to do this all by hand or not have them correct. So... We have a nice flat surface there. Uh, we can get rid of all of this over here. Um, let's just ditch that. Push you, and then we'll just go over. Doop -doop 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 Cut. Excellent. And this one was just a touch too high. Actually, did a pretty decent job at keeping them all within the same re you know same height area and restrictions that I wanted. And that's gonna fill in with grass, which is excellent. Okay, so now what we'll do is we will actually use we're gonna use the tool brush to smooth all this out. Um, I always try to just use slightly different tools for all these things so I don't forget which one is which. Now, what is the command for the smooth one? I think it's just yeah, it's just brush smooth. So. I'm gonna do brush smooth. Does it have a radius for that? Two times, four times using any block. Uh, no. Let's try this. Ah, oh, there we go. Yep. So as you can see, what it does is it kind of averages out whatever the blocks are that's in the area around it, and it creates a more le a less less mathematical, you know, block placement and a little more of a natural. And I think actually, you know, we could try that. I think there is there not a naturalize. Yes, there is. Oh, nope, what that does is that's gonna put, okay, that was that would be if we had put stone down. Okay, so there is a command within, uh, within, within Forge tool here that allows you to uh, naturalize 
a particular area. So if we had this hole selected, um, it would actually put three layers of dirt on top, um, and then everything, everything else would be rock below. Well, you know, we could try that. Oh, but I don't want that's going to interfere with this. Yeah, you know what? This is just easier because this gives me a little more control over it. So what we do is we can smooth all this out so it looks less like we just plopped a whole bunch of cylinders all over the place. Um, just kind of make this look a little more of a natural mountainside. And yeah, there'll be trees and we'll put some stuff. There's not a lot of trees. Uh, the landscape was actually fairly barren surrounding this because it's out in the middle of nowhere. So it's more of like just kind of general country. Um hills and trees area but like that see like now instead of it being so instead of it being these obvious circle sphere <laughs> circles spheres we're making it look a little bit more like natural uh mountains and there's no right way or wrong way to do this and this i am strictly just going off of what i think looks nice this there's no plans or no blueprints for the landscaping <laughs> of the side of the mountain um so we have enough space. The house is going to be probably filling this. I'm wondering if I, you know, before I go too far with this landscaping portion back here, I think I'm going to plop a few more just to get this a little bit further. Oops. Nope. You guys are way too high. <laughs> Dunno. I almost typed it again. Uh, just to give us enough space. I would rather there, I'd rather this mountain range go way out away from this build than uh, us not having enough space to actually build the house in. Yeah, that's too high, but I'll, I'll just have to fix it with my other tool. Um, I don't know how big the house is going to be. The house isn't overly complicated, but there's also a ton of rooms in there, so it's not gonna. I'm not gonna really know until we get into the building of the house to know how big the house will be in the end. It's not gonna be way out here. We have to keep it back here on this set, but or this chunk of the land, but I still want to make sure. I think that's going to be enough. That should be more than enough space. All right, so let me just, you know what? Well, we're going to do this. We're going to, I'm going to kind of smooth out the landscaping here and then I'll deal with uh, lopping off the top if necessary. So I'm just going to naturalize all this part. Fun, 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 kind of. Um, yeah, so we're going to see kind of what we get. I think what we'll be able to do in this episode is we're going to get this all this landscaping done, and then we will get the groundwork laid for the house itself. And then next time we will start building out uh, all the house. So you know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to do the next portion of this in a time lapse, because now that you kind of know what I'm doing, this is very tedious. It's just kind of the same thing over and over and over again, and there's no need for you guys to sit and watch all of that. So I'll be right back after we're done with this time lapse and go. Alright, and we are back. So as you saw in that time lapse, I finished off all of the landscaping, uh, or sorry, mountainscaping, I guess. Still not quite finished. Uh, <laughs> I have a feeling I'm just going to keep going back every once in a while and be like, that looks too much of a drop off. I don't like that. I don't like that. There we go. Uh, but we kind of went through and finished off a lot of the mountaining here. Um, I was just thinking as I was looking and filling in this last portion, this might still not be big enough. Um... I don't know. I really don't know. So we might have to come back and add more there, but we got a good base here to start. So what we are going to do is we are going to do at least uh, the, the the staircase leading up, and then we'll kind of go from there. Um, all right. So let's get out our classic stairs and classic stone. We will be doing these guys because these are correct. This is a stoned walkway, a little borderlining on brick. Uh, could be kind of a more of a bricky one, but I, I, these look more accurate uh, towards what the design actually is. Now give me my slabs because I'm going to 
maybe need my slab. Um, doop doop do. You know what we could do? We have. Uh, oh, that's right, because that's a different texture pack, isn't it? Hmm. Okay. So here, let me show you this real quick. If I turn off my. Uh, oh goodness, where's it at? We turn off flow. I'm using flows as my default texture pack here. Uh, let's turn this off and we'll go back into the game. Which, by the way, here is the <laughs> here's the build in the default texture pack. Which, actually, you know, it still doesn't look too bad. Um, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Things still look things look nice actually. Consider considering, oh, I thought that was grass in there. I forgot we put green carpet. Um, don't use the railing. Yeah. Uh, so, one of the things I was thinking of is, like, because these staircases are kind of old, we could use the cracked, the, the cracked bricks in comparison to the normal ones, just because I like the old look to it, but because of the texture pack I'm in, those do not look like that. Um, give it a second just to reload it. They actually look, they are a completely different design in 1.7.10. I know Flows is in the process of updating this. I probably, I can look eventually and see if they've updated all the way. But, so see, that's the cracked version of this. And I just, these look cool, these look great, but they look great for other reasons, not for the staircase. So we are going to be just using yeah, the standard staircases, or the standard bricks uh, for this entire build. Make sure that none of these are the monster ones. Nope, okay. All right, so back here a little ways uh, behind this, and this actually looks like it cuts into the mountain slightly, when especially when it goes up that way. So we'll be sure to uh, to integrate that feature momentarily. Uh, we got a little bit back here. It's at a little bit of an angle. We're gonna go just a little more straightforward with these stairs compared to what the actual ones look like. So here's gonna be our end, and we're gonna make these too wide. That's a person. Yeah, that's about right. We'll make them too wide. So here's our base. And do 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 do. I'm gonna go stairs up. And so there's I'm gonna do two sets of stairs up for that. A lot of this will be just detail work that we'll come back to later. Uh, there is a little bit of a landing platform here, so we will cut this out. It's gonna be another like that. And like like this. Go up, yep, like this. So this is the landing platform in the mid-ground here. It turns, and then we're gonna go just straight up at an angle this way, which we will cut. And any other way, like I said, the way this is designed is this is actually removed. So this this staircase is also acting as like a barrier wall for the mountainside. So we're gonna cut into the mountain, much like that. And then we need to go over like this, I'm gonna just kind of re-sculpt this uh, mountainside as we go, and then immediately gonna go up with the stairs, stairs, and this is where I was debating if the, no, I need that. Come back, come back. I was debating if again, much like what we did for the roof, if the stairs themselves were too steep, or if it was better, because like I feel like maybe here we need to go with the slabs. To just make this be because this uh, this step up is a little more uh, gradual. This is almost that's actually almost a little too steep for my tastes. So maybe we will do the stairs, and then we just do that for the every other one, like this. And now this staircase is out there. It looks like to me. So one more, do up like that. Yeah. All right. So then this is the other landing. Which again, it does the same thing. And yes, like I said, I know in the actual floor plans for this, this is at a little more of an angle. Um, I guess, oh, I'm sorry, hit the microphones. I guess we probably could build it in a little bit of an angle, especially if we are using the slabs. Uh, the staircase, the actual stairs would only work really on straight flush areas. So maybe we could, yeah, let's try it, why not? Like I said, this episode is gonna be basically gonna be getting these staircases up and then the start of the house. So it's not gonna be full blown normal episode. So this is going to be like this. How do we approach it like this? Now, you know what? No, nope. just to make our lives easier, we are just going to do this flush like this. That's just going to make everything 
so much simpler in the end for everybody involved, mostly me. Uh, <laughs> so, all right, so there's that. And then this one's actually a little bit, yeah, I'll say this one looks like it's a little bit bigger of a landing platform. So we're gonna do like that. Maybe do that. Cause then this will come up alongside it. Like so. And then turn there. And then this is all, this is all gonna be like this. Oops, not that one, like this. So we'll fill in you, like so. And, you know, it's almost, it's almost, the staircase is almost like castle-like. It's almost like a, like a big, you know, imposing castle staircase going all the way up to the top of the set. You know, we probably could just fake that one with that one because that looked a little more... It's not a giant... It's not a giant railing. It's kind of... It's barely enough to keep you on. Oh, no, we want those two. And then we're going to go into this. And I've already decided that this needs to be changed. <laughs> if we're going to go this route, we're going to do it like this just to... Yeah, that's better. I like that better. Oops, so then we use you, and then we use you. Actually, no, we could just use you like that. There we go. And then you in, and then you in, and then you in, and then you there. Excellent. There we go. Yes. Yep, the slabs look a lot nicer. They look a lot more gradual, plus then you have a longer approach up into the mountain or up into the house. So now the rest of this goes up the re uh, up goes up all the way. So we will just continue doing what we did here. And then slab and then staircase slab. Oops, not staircase, sorry. Stone brick is what I meant to say. And then this and then you and then you and then you and then we're up on the top. So then that's our final approach staircase. Excellent. Um, we will just, yep, yeah, we're gonna wrap you around like that. You come up here and here and here and there. <laughs> These are all very technical episode, uh, some very technical episode terms too here. And the way this is just alternating back and forth between the slab and stones. Uh, like so, just to kind of keep the there we go, and then you, and then you, and then you, and then you, whoops, oh no, I guess I can use that, that'll work, like that, and then yeah, and then it, it, and then it, 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 yeah, there we go. Alright, that looks a little funky. It should not actually go there, this one should go there, like that, and I'm just filling that with grass. Yeah, that's better. All right, so then that's our staircase up to the house. Um, we will grab just another tool here. Uh, we will grab the stone pickaxe. <laughs> do, 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 do. Ah, uh -huh. there we go. But then just do that. Nope, this, there we go. I'm just gonna fill in this whole gap. Um, yep, so we're gonna get rid of this. Up until the edge there, and then it's gonna kind of grow back over. Uh, so we'll dig all you out, and then kind of just do that. There we go. Make it look a little more natural. Maybe fill in a little bit like that, like the ground's kind of shifted out over the years. Yes, this is what I think about when I build in Minecraft. There we go. Yeah, so we'll go like that, maybe like that. There we go, like it almost kind of, maybe the ground settled a little bit over the years. They've built this wall, but it's fallen. Uh, the ground's kind of shifted and, oops, I want this. Like that, there we go. And then that'll all fill in with grass over time. All right, well, it should. <laughs> it should fill in with grass over time. <laughs> Otherwise, we just do like this and just fill it all in right now so it doesn't look funky there we go now it's it's filling in dirt should spread naturally just uh, i also have the rain turned off for a little while do not spite me and start raining right when i say that 
that's I just would have expected that to happen. Um, and there's also a bunch of trees and bushes all along this line, so that kind of will help fill in that gap a little better. Um, so now as long as we don't see any dirt where there's supposed to be stone, which they don't. Excellent. That looks all good. Um, I do want to knock that out. I don't want any of the dirt to be on the same row as, like, I don't want it to be level like, in line with the the ledge here. So, like, this one will go down. Um, actually, probably could have kept this one back there, just to have a little bit there, and then we'll knock this down. There we go. That's also too steep. We're just gonna get rid of this. It's all way too much of a drop-off. This is a more gradual incline up to the house. This is a little too steep for my taste. Eh. And then eh. And then eh. Like, I don't like that. I don't like two blocks high. I want it to be just a gradual incline. Like that. Perfect. And you're okay. You're okay. Brilliant. You are too much of an incline. Excellent. Too much of an incline. Excellent. 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 Eh. 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 <laughs> eh. Okay. Okay. We're done. We're done for that for now. One more. Right there. Okay. Oh, son of a bitch. There we go. Okay. So now we can go on. <laughs> Uh, now we can go on to the house. Now, up here, there's really, I'm assuming what it is, is it's going to be uh, probably just some coarse dirt. Oops. Uh, I spelled coarse wrong. Of course I did. Um, we're going to do this as the path that's leading from the, uh, from the, the, the walkway here. This will lead up into the house. Um, which, based upon this... You know what? There's also. That and that. There's kind of these pillars. I forgot to put these on here. There's kind of these pillars every so often. And then. Uh, let's drag. Uh, dragon, dragon, dragon. Oh, I can't get the dragon egg, can I? That's. Oh, I can. I just gotta probably give it myself instead. Um, we will use, for the time being, we are going to use these. Uh, sorry, I started saying this. There's um, almost like decorations at the top there once you reach the top of the house. So um, looks like a big bowl or something like that. So we'll just use the anvils in place of those. And we're using the very old ones to kind of, you know, signify the age of falling apart. Okay, moving on to the house itself. Um... So that goes all the way up. Oh, I, I missed another one. There's actually one here. There we go. Yeah, that works. All right. So moving up to the house. Um, the house itself technically faces at an angle. Oh, my goodness. Are we going to do that? That's going to be kind of a pain, isn't it? Let's look. Let's look at some photos here. Mm-hmm. 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 Yep, we are going to have to build this house at an angle. Because otherwise, it'd be facing this direction, and that's not as dramatic. It actually faces this way. So, we're going to build this at an angle. All right, we are going to build this like an actual house would be built. We're going to do a stone base, and then the, the decoration or the, the siding and all that stuff is just going to go from there uh, up. So, let me try to find my good floor plans for what the house looks like here. We are going... Alright, so that's windows, windows... Okay, let's just... We're going to use this. Okay. We're going to put it back just a little bit ways from the house, or from the walk. So we have all this area to work with. So we're going to put it... Front porch is going to be right there. So yeah, we are actually, it's, it is probably more likely that it's facing this direction, but just for the sake of making this as easy as humanly possible, we are going to put it at a 45 degree angle for it, just because otherwise, otherwise our slabs on the ground would end up being stuff like this, and, or less than that, and that's just, that gets to be too, too hard. As it is, I don't know how we're going to do the door for this, so we'll just have to figure that out when the time comes because the door is only going to face this way the door won't face 45 i wish you could angle a door across this if you could in minecraft have like an opening like this and angle a door 45 degrees seriously so many builds would be 10 times easier <laughs> 
can make life so much simpler for a lot of builders. Okay, so the way that this house is built, it actually has a front porch on it uh, that extends further out. So this is actually going to be the front porch area, which we are going to make five blocks wide and then come back about there. So then this is all gonna be filled in. We're just gonna do this three block wide porch. Um, front porch is, yep. So then the house itself, this front little sticky outy part is gonna be here. Sticky outy part, uh, technical term, do not mind yourself with it. Um, and then if that come back a little bit, so we're gonna have to go out to, to there. Actually, the porch is wider than this front house portion is. So I'm going to cut it down to this. And then we'll end up using carpet or whatever like that, just to fill this area in. We'll come back. So that's the front sticky outy part. Um, and then from here, it's gonna go over each direction even, uh, for the most part, it is in, it's it's a it's split down the middle. So we're gonna build this with odd numbers so that way it's an even on both sides. So like this front porch is five, and then the house, <laughs> as I say that, then I proceed to have the house actually be an even number. Um, but what we're gonna do, let's see here. Let's figure this out. So that's, that's the end, that's the edge where they meet up. So one, two, three, and then maybe four. For it's almost divided into thirds. The house is almost divided into thirds itself. So I'm gonna build this one side first and then we'll build the other side. So that would be enough for a window and then a solid wall corner and then two solid wall corners for here. This is, the windows are not in the middle. They're actually off to one side. So this would work well because yeah, because we'll basically have you know, like that with a window right there, which we could use a glass block for. So that comes in handy. Um, so we are going to do that exact same thing on this side. So one, two, three, four, and then this is where it's going to turn. So the house will turn on that one. This front porch just looks gigantic then compared to that, doesn't it? It is bigger. The front porch is technically bigger than that little thing. So, okay, let me turn to my side profile here. What do I got? Hmm. All right. So, ah, this needs to be deeper. This is not deep enough. I did not go far enough back. Okay, we actually need to make this be probably four blocks. So I'm off by a block. That's not far, that's not bad. Let's see, four blocks, does that work better? Four blocks might work. If all else fails, again, like I said, we just shift this whole portion back if this is not far enough back for it. This front part does stick out quite a bit from the rest of the house. Uh, there is actually a window, which if we do it like this will work great because the window for this portion is in fact in the middle, so it would be here. So we would have a solid one, a solid one, and then that's the corner. So that works just fine. We are gonna go back. So then we'll have a, that one. So then there's a window here. Solid wall, solid wall, window, solid wall. So, solid wall, window there, two solid walls in the middle, and then solid wall. Okay, and then this, does it turn on this side? Uh, my floor plans, oh, yep, yep, so these are identical. Oh, okay, actually. Sorry, my floor plans are slightly different. This one, the window's in the middle, so the window's gonna be there, not there. And again, this is, this the cement is just for me to figure everything out for now. Um, actually, it should be there, which means that this is gonna be turning at this point. Is that a big enough room? That's a big enough room. This part is just a little off. So then we turn, and I do not know how far in, does it look like that is in line with that? We're not gonna go entirely. So it kind of looks like that the house is actually this very narrow little hall with this little outcropping on both sides. I'm not gonna do that. I'm actually gonna just kind of fake this portion just to give it some more interest because it's a little, I don't have an overhead view, do I? Oh, I kind of do. Oh yeah, no, no, that is, I am actually, I am doing it correctly. That is, uh, 
it doesn't go all the way in line with that. So I'm going to do here, I'm going to go here. There's enough space for a window, so we have a corner, a corner, a window, a corner, a corner. Turn, and then this is going to go, so we ended up building three out from there. So on this side, oh, my mouse is so touchy that it keeps sliding around on the uh, keypad. There it is, and then this, and then that, All right? All right? Yes. So then we go one, two, was it three? Is that all we did? We just did three over for there, and then come back on the third one, come back on the third one, to there, and then we're gonna go over one, and then this one actually has a little bit of an outcropping here, so this is, oh, this is, oh, you know what, that'd be actually the back porch, okay, never mind, so then that is the house, how is that, I guess compared to our mobile, our, our thing, it's not bad. All right, we'll we'll do is once we build this sucker, then we'll actually know. So, okay, so according to my blueprints, we're gonna to, uh, we're gonna do. Let's go back to the. We'll go back to this. We'll go back to the wool for these, so we can kind of plan things out. So, oops, oh my goodness, just hitting buttons at this point. So this is like this, going all the way across. Okay, so here's the front. We have. Looking at the blueprints. So once you walk inside the house, the stairs are going to be here. Oops, nope. We have to, so there's a parlor. So this is the dining room is in here. All right, so it takes up that. There's a doorway there, and that's a wall. Wall, wall, wall. We're going to have to have a doorway going into this room at the base of the stairs. So the stairs start here. Like so. The door's there. This is the kitchen area. Oh, there is not enough space. We did not make this big enough. Hmm. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? Um, Alright, you know what, for this episode, we're going to cut this episode a little short. Uh, we're going to leave it here. I'm going to have to do some test work of this off-camera because I want to make sure that we get this base scale correctly. Yeah, like looking at this now... This just does not look to scale. It does not look right. Um, I guess there is, you know, we could do, let's try this. Let's just, just to see. Okay. So, if left as we have it, that would be the house. Which, I guess, in the rest of the scale of what we have going on, that does look... It's not a giant house. The motel is a lot larger than the actual house itself. I'm just wondering if we... Maybe we extend everything out by one block. Just to give it a little more, little more space. Because I worry that this is really cramped and tiny inside here. And I mean, I guess, technically... If necessary, we could always build a larger version of the inside of the house elsewhere and use it basically as a as a lot, as a studio lot, and not build it inside the house. Um, which they would have done. That's, that's not what they would have. They did. They did that in the uh, actual filming of the movie. So maybe this is okay. All right. Well, you know what? Either way, what I'm going to do is we are going to leave it here for this week's episode. And next week, we will come back and we will finish off the house at least the outside, and then maybe a little more landscaping, or a little more uh, just kind of outside decoration. And then perhaps after that, we will worry. Because I want to also get in the basement. I want to get the basement. If we built this hill, I want to put a basement into this that we could go into. So lots of those little things that I want to make sure that we do this correctly. Again, as opposed to the, event, uh, the Back to the Future episode where we didn't <laughs> actually care about the way things looked on the inside, I do for this particular series. Just, you know, this, this one is a little different, so... All right, well, with that... Ooh, which way am I at? Let's face the house. Yeah, there's my screenshot right there, buddy boys. Um, <laughs> with that, I am your host, Jeff, and thank you guys for watching this week's episode. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below in the 
comments and question section of YouTube. And we definitely will read them. We like reading any kind of responses we get from anybody, especially on these series. So thank you guys for watching. And I will see all of you next week for more Bit by Block on the Psycho Build. Woo! Dirt in your general direction.